Hi, hope you're doing all right. Hope you're doing great. It's been a while since we talked. It's been a while since since I, I, I shot a tutorial. I want to say I'm sorry. I've been making a lot of excuses these days and have a lot of work. But I really want to show you how to make authentication in Floodflow. So how to create your login and your sign up page in Floodflow. So I think this is one of the biggest questions asked a lot because a lot of time when you want to create your application, you, you need a way for users to log in and also you need a way for users to sign up. If users can't log in and users can't sign up, there's nothing you can do with your application. So you ready? Let's get started. Meanwhile, if you're just joining this channel for the very first time, I teach how to how to build stuff using no code. Feel free to click on the subscribe button so you can always, always get notification when I launch a new tutorial. So thank you. Let's get right into it. So whenever you're trying to create authentication screens with Flutterflow, you basically have to start from basics. So the first thing first that you want to do is to go ahead and create a new project. But if you have an existing project, you go ahead and open that project because that's where you're going to create the ability for users to log in and sign in. I have a lot of projects that I've worked on with Flutterflow, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project. So click on create new project and give it a name. So I'm just going to give this uh, a name. Um, so I'm just going to say Flutterflow, Flutterflow, um, Flutterflow YouTube. So I'm going to save this and you can go ahead and choose a template that have the login and the sign up. So we're just going to go ahead and choose a template that have the login and the sign up. Or you can go ahead and choose a create new screen. So if you think that you're not very good at creating stuff and you just want to start right off the bath with something like this, of course you can go ahead and do so. But if you think that you're very good at creating this stuff, then you can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and just create a new create a new a, a new screen. So I'm just going to say create new because there are templates inside of Floodflow that you can use. So I'm going to skip all these tutorials like so. So for first thing first, for users to be able to log into your application, you need to have three screens or two, minimum two screens. One is the login screen. The other one is the home screen. So where will user get to when they log onto your application? Sometimes when we're creating an application, you have to get take them to the onboarding screen where they get to see what your app is all about. And then you take them to the to the login screen where they get to log into your application. And then you take them to the sign up screen. That's basically the way it works. So we're just gonna go ahead and add a couple of pages first. So this is the home page, it's fine. Let's go ahead and do a plus sign. Just do a plot sign and just call this sign, sign up. So we'll choose from the auth, from one of the auth template over here. So I'm gonna do that again. Go ahead and click on sign, click on the plot screen. Yeah, sign up. I think uh, the network's not so great. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the auth. So this is what, what I'm looking for. Okay. So I'm just gonna click on this. So so this is the login and the sign up. So I'm just gonna click on this. I'm gonna click on the sign up floor. So this is sign up flow. Use my team, and that's what I want to do. And then we have the sign up. So let's go ahead and add another page. This page we're going to call it login page. So click on the plus sign, call it the login page. Call it login page, and I'm gonna call this. Um, so we're just gonna call this the login page so use my team so we now we have the login page we have the sign up page and then we have the home page so let's click on the plus sign click on the plus sign let's you know just give the, the home page some source click on the plus sign okay and let's call this home to just call this home uh, let's call this um, content just um, yeah let's just use this one use my team so what I'm going to go back here to do, say I'm going to go back here and I'm going to delete this home because I don't think it's beautiful. There's nothing, on it. There's nothing in it, so I'm going to delete it. So that's the first step. So you want to create the sign up screen, the login screen, and the landing page screen. So then go to your settings, go to your settings and click on the, go to your settings, click on, let's go ahead and click on our authentication right here. So enable authentication, yeah. So once you enable authentication, it's gonna ask you what's gonna be the entry page. So the entry page is gonna be the sign up, and then the login page is gonna be the home page. 
So once you're done with that, that's the second step. So the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to you want to be able to connect this page with Flutterflow. If you have not, it would connect this page with Firebase. If you have not done, if you don't know how to do that, go back and watch my previous tutorial and how to set up Firebase for your Flutterflow application. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So if I've set up my collection already, which is right here, I have, a, I have an existing collection I'm going to use, which is right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy my copy the project ID which is right here copy the project ID and then come back here go to my firebase and paste my project ID and say connect so I'll say connect to my project ID and I'll also generate config file generate config file and this is just going to take a few seconds to do this so when you are when you are also connecting with things like Google, yeah, Google is pretty straightforward. Facebook is pretty straightforward, but Apple, yeah, it's a bit difficult when you're connecting with Apple. When you're trying to sign up with Apple, it's a bit difficult. I'm going to cover that in a different tutorial entirely. So you can see now we're good. Uh, we have regenerated this, and it's good. So the next thing you want to do is that you want to go to your sign up screen. So this is your email. Your email feed and this is your password feed so one thing that I always advise you to do is that always 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 name your feed correctly so you don't make mistakes so this is the email feed so you're gonna say sign in sign up email as you're gonna call that one so this one we're gonna call this one we're gonna call this one sign up password yeah then you go back to your go back to your login page We'll call this, yeah, so we have the email address, we have the password already, and so that's fine. So on the email address, click on the sign up button. This is the button that is going to take the user to a place where they sign up. Yeah, that's the, that's the button that will take them to a place where they sign up. So click on this sign up button, click on this, on this. So I'm going to delete this so we can, we can redo it again. So click on this sign up, and then click on the open screen, add action. So what's going to be the action? The action is going to be a it's going to be a Firebase authentication action. So what do you want to do? You want to create an account. That's what you want to do. You want to create an account. The auth provider is email. Yeah, the auth provider is email, and the email feed is the sign up email. The email password feed is the sign up password. And once you're done with that, we're not confirming password. It's fine. Once you're done with that, click on the plus sign. And say redirect so navigate to the home page and then you can give it a transition type transition type that I like to use depending on how you want the application to be you can use the slide up slide right or you can just leave it the default it's fine so I'm just gonna slide left I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide I'm gonna slide to the left which is fine so we're done with that. Next thing, click on the login login page. So what do you want to do here? You want to lock them in. So click on the login, and then click on the. So we'll take this. We'll take this off. Say delete. So we'll click on the open. We'll add action, and then we'll say Firebase authentication. What do we want to do? We want to log in. So we'll click on the. What do you want to log in with? You want to log in with the email. With the, the email provider is email and then the email feed is email address password field is password and once they are done with that what do you want to do you want to also navigate them to the home page that's what you want to do and that's fine so there are sometimes you might want to send parameters from the home page to the sign up page maybe you want to send parameters like the time they logged in when they logged in you know stuff like that this might my work if you're running something if you're building something like a checkout system you're building something like a check-in system this is going to work like you pass a parameter to tell you when they log in and when they sign up so that's fine and then let's go to so next thing you want to do is what if a user land into this page and they don't want to log in they want to sign up so what you do click on the sign up test click on the nav add a sign add a, add an action navigate them to the login to the login screen so they go directly to the login screen if they do not want to sign up so same thing you come here they want to create an account click on add add an action navigate them to the to the sign up screen if they if they don't have an account so that's what you want to do and that's it 
Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and correct, connect, uh, correct these errors. These errors are not really from the project because we're using a template, so, that, so that's why we're seeing this error. I'm going to go ahead and correct this error and then I'll join you back. But once you're done with this, you're done. I mean, you're done with creating the authentication, you know, sign up and the sign in and going into another screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and cor correct this error and then I'll come back so we can test the application. Okay, so welcome back. I'm done with, with making those corrections. So the next thing I want to do is to go ahead and test the application. So I'm going to put it in a run mode and run this application. So, so this is our application. We're just going to, going to go ahead and test a few features. So if the person, if we click on the sign up, we can see the sign up page is here. We click on the create account, we can see it's here. So let's just go ahead and sign up with the test email. So I'm going to say test user at gmail.com. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then sign up. So you can see we're able to log in. So we're able to log in. This is the application where we're able to log into the, the, the mobile application. So let's go ahead, return back, sign in. So we're going to sign in. Uh, we're going to sign in as the test user. At gmail.com, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then login. So that's how you create an app. That's how you create a sign in and a login page that links to a home page on Flutiful. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. Do remember to subscribe to this channel and uh, you can leave your question down there. If, you, if, you, if there's any video that you would think you would like me to, you want me to cover on Flutterflow, feel free to drop it there and I'll do well to cover it. And if you're looking for someone to work on your Flutterflow application, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely work day ahead. Bye.